What's up, y'all? How big is a thermal? And what does its lift profile look like? Both Reichman and G. Dale describe the diameter of a typical thermal to be something between, say, 500 and 1,000 feet, taking several seconds to cross. So the lift profile ends up looking something like this. Now I want to show you some of the thermals I found in my last flight. In my mind, the lift profile of a good thermal looks like this. I first noticed this last year flying dual with Morgan Hall and Ely. I was flying from the back seat, and we started to enter a thermal. After a few seconds, the Vario leveled off at four knots, so I started the turn. He yanked the stick back and said, not yet, and the Vario eventually hit eight, then ten, and he let me turn. It blew my mind, and this happened over and over again. My mental picture and rule for circling is now completely different. Coming into a thermal, I wonder now whether it's going to have one, two, or maybe three plateaus before the maximum. So I just keep flying and wait. When it really starts to drop me out of the other side, then I decide if it's worth coming back to. Maybe it's just that I'm often flying in convergence, and maybe the convergence is coalescing several smaller thermals together. Regardless of the reason though, it seems like waiting and being patient to see how big the thermal actually is, is a pretty good strategy. And it's okay to fall out of the other side of the thermal. If it's not worth coming back to, then it probably wasn't good enough to circle in in the first place. But I don't know anything. I could be completely wrong. What do you think? See you in the skies.